Today marks the 18th birthday of Kevin Parker, the UK's youngest man and the last reported male birth before the borders closed and we lost contact with the rest of the world. Much of the country believes Kevin could hold the key to solving the male population crisis. However, mm. as expected, protests from the various male... What have I told you about watching this shit? Sorry, Mother. You're ten minutes late. I know. Sorry, I got distracted. Distracted? The world's population is dropping every day, rioting plagues our streets. Yet the one boy people believe can make a difference is too busy watching television. They were talking about me. It's my birthday. I forgot. Do I still have to go today? Get dressed. We found it, while you were born a male, when for 12 years only females have been born. Well great, so it's over. Not exactly. It's a very complicated operation though. in your current I'll health. Die. Well, now you're 18, you have to sign. You mean I don't have to do it? No, I mean you have to sign. Why? Why? What's wrong with you? you you've got the chance to save the human race from extinction. You ask me why? You could be a hero. Is that what you told Dad? Oh, don't you dare. Your father wanted to help. He wanted to save the world. He wanted to save people from extinction. He didn't want people to die out. You know what he asked me the day he died? He said, raise a good boy. Raise a strong boy. I guess I failed as a mother. No, I don't think. Go on then, go on, live your life, get married. Have children, never live to see them grow up. I will. After the operation. Today the nation mourns the life of Kevin Parker, the youngest man in the country who saved the human race. Only today we spoke to Kevin's mother, the driving force behind the fight for our survival. As a mother, there is nothing worse than losing your only son, especially one as special and unique as Kevin. But there is nothing that makes me more proud than what he has done for his country, for the world. What's this? Oh, so that's just something the company puts in every room. There was oh. a day that I didn't see him smile just knowing what he was doing. He just wanted to help. He would also want me to thank XXXY Industries. Without them, we wouldn't have had a home when his father passed away. What do you have to say to the reports that you forced Kevin into most of his treatment, similar to those which surfaced after the death of your husband? 